version 3.2.2 of Audacity has been released. In this video, I want to look at a couple of improvements. With the release of Audacity version 3.2.2, VS2 real-time stackable effects are now supported. If we take a look at this screen here on the left and we click the effects button, this is where you can add what used to be just VST3 effects, which is what Audacity supported starting in version 3.2.0. But now, beginning with version 3.2.2, VST2 effects are also supported as real-time stackable effects. This is a major improvement for Audacity because now Audacity supports not only VST3 effects and plugins, but now it also supports VS2 effects and plugins. So if you use VST2 real-time plugins, you now have the ability to use those in Audacity as stackable, real-time, non-destructive effects. But there was also another issue that surfaced with version 3.2.1 that has been fixed, and that concerns macros. If we take a look at the macro menu here by going to the Tools drop-down menu, and we look at Macro Manager, the problem that was there prior to version 3.2.2 was once you put an effect in your macro or put a command in your macro, you couldn't edit it. If I tried to edit this, it would just crash Audacity, and I wasn't able to edit it. That's been fixed. Now I can open up any of these effects that I have in here, and I can click the Edit button, and I can go back and edit them. This didn't affect the addition of new macros. I could build a new macro and put all of the commands in it that I needed, but if I needed to go back and open up one of those and edit a command that I'd put in there, Audacity would crash. I reported that problem on the Audacity Discord server, and they told me there would be a fix in this version, and sure enough, in version 3.2.2, that issue has been fixed. So there's those two improvements. Audacity version 3.2.2 now supports both VST2 and VST3 real-time plugins, as well as this fix for the macro manager. So that's all I had for you in this video. I just wanted to highlight those two changes in Audacity version 3.2.2. Until next time, y'all take care.